Before I get into my honest review of why I left Keller Williams, I have to do a couple of disclaimers. First off, each Keller Williams office is independently owned and operated, so don't take what I say as a review of the company as a whole because they're all owned by, by, by different owners. And secondly, this is my personal opinion. Yeah, I just wanna say that it's my personal opinion. And so again, you could take it, you could not wanna take it, but I just felt the need to share with y'all, you know, my experience and why I chose to leave Keller Williams. So when I first got to Keller Williams, or the reason why I chose to go to Keller Williams was I was studying for my licensing exam and I was trying to find a brokerage to go to and like many of you all, you don't really know where you wanna go and you just want some advice. And unfortunately at the time when I was taking my license, there wasn't like a lot of YouTube videos out there giving you advice on different brokerages, but I was reading blogs and I saw like a lot of blogs and people who I would just ask, they would say, oh, Keller Williams has great training and it's a great place for a new agent to start. And so I kept hearing that over and over and over again. And so I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna be a new agent and I need to be trained. So I'm gonna go to Keller Williams. And that was the reason why I decided to, to go to Keller Williams. I didn't have any friends or family there or anything. It was literally just a bunch of reading and hearing from people that Keller Williams was the place for a brand new agent to go. I'll say as I, as I started working in real estate and as I was at this office, I, I was starting to, to notice I, I wasn't really getting like a lot of help. I, you know, they did have a great training program and they did have a lot of um, curriculum in there. But after that was over, I kind of just felt like, here, there you go, like, like, go, go, go do it. And, and that's all right, I guess, but I, I needed more help. And unfortunately, there wasn't anybody there that could 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 really show me. I mean, people were, were there to I mean to, to answer questions for me, but I didn't really know what questions I needed to be asking. And so I, I just literally felt like I had no direction. And so that was my first issue, just 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 kind of the lack of help and mentorship at this particular office that I was at. Next, as I started doing transactions. I, I felt like I was spending a lot of money at this brokerage. Like for one, I had my split and then they had other like franchise fees or you know, whatever little fees. Then I was paying for copies. Like I couldn't even print documents for free. And it was just all starting to add up. You know, that was a brokerage where you had to pay for every single thing for yourself. Um, signs, like all that kind of stuff, which, which, which is pretty typical, but I mean, copies, you know, I, I was just like, okay, I can't even print a contract for free if, if, if I wanted to make some money. And, and, and that was a big thing for me. And then like they try to get you to, to go to these events and they say like at these events, that's where you're gonna like really get trained. Well, a big problem that I faced with a lot of those events and everything is one, they were out of town. And so I would have to make accommodations to, to get there. And then they had costs associated to them. And so it's like, okay, I'm paying y'all a split of all my transactions and I'm paying into this franchise and you're telling me I have to pay for training on top of that and you know I'm paying a monthly fee just to be an agent in the office and it was just like all these fees and all this money and I felt like it, it just wasn't adding up to, to what I was receiving in my career. Another thing was this particular office that I was at, it was very unorganized. And and I found this out, or like I really had like an aha moment with this when I was waiting like weeks for one of my checks and I was like, why haven't I received an email about it? Or like, why hasn't anybody told me about it? And I've been asking and asking and, and nobody seemed to know where this check was. And, you know, I asked like one final time and I remember the, the lady who hands out checks, she like turns around to her, to her um, printer and shuffles through these papers and like pulls my check out of there and like, oh, here it is. And I'm just like, you gotta be freaking kidding me. It, it just blew my mind. And I was like, I've been sitting here waiting 
for my money and you have it stuck in some of your your papers and just like the calendars and all like it was just so unorganized and i didn't really know any better but i knew that like all real estate offices couldn't operate like this or nobody would 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 be happy anywhere and so at this particular office this was a big thing like i'm a pretty organized person and i would expect to for for someone to treat my money <laughs> differently than you know just like a stack of papers and 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 that was a a a really eye-opening moment for me um what else oh like at this particular office that I was at, like there wasn't anybody that was doing, you know, uh, just a tremendous amount of real estate. I mean, there was there were successful people there, but I felt like I was aspiring to be one thing, but there wasn't necessarily a model or a mentor of anyone at that office that I could have followed or ask for advice or, you know, ask them how did they get there or can they show me some things? Because, you know, honestly, like for the short time that I was there, I, I, I kind of revved my business up and I was doing the same amount of business as like a lot of people in that office, if not more, people who had been there for a while. And I was just like, you know, I knew that there was going to become a time when I hit a ceiling and, and there wasn't going to be anybody there that could get me past that. And y'all, so here's, here's, here's the, the, the straw that broke the camel's back of me at Keller Williams. I remember one day and I'll never forget this and you might find a story to be funny or stupid but whatever I remember this one day that um, someone delivered me something someone had an expensive cake delivered to me as a thank you gift and they let me know that they had sent me this to my to my office and so I had been out in the field all day and I was like okay well I'll go grab it later so I get back to the office later the cake is gone and I was furious because not only was it gone, I saw the box in the trash can and I saw plates and forks like they just went to town on it. And so I questioned the lady at the front desk and I was like, hey, this cake that was supposed to be mine and you know, oh yeah, we, 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 we ate it. We didn't know like when you were coming back, like mind you, it was the same day, just hours later. We didn't know when you were coming back. And then she goes, but it was really good though. <laughs> and y'all like I almost lost my shit but but it was literally that day where I was like I'm just over this I'm done I'm done I'm done I'm done like yeah it was over some cake but everything just added up and added up and I couldn't take it anymore and so yeah I I, I, I went and quickly moved my license out of there because I was just like this is not the place for me and yeah granted I should have probably went to another Keller Williams office and you know maybe just inter um, interviewed around at some other kw's but I, I i just was over it as a whole i think the company's great and i being being in the industry I've, I've met some phenomenal keller williams agents and some phenomenal teams and you know if i could go back in time and do it again i would have probably asked different questions and maybe if I still wanted to, to be there, transferred my license to a different office, but I just I just wanted to, to do something else. And so that's that's kind of my story why I left Keller Williams. And again, like I said at the beginning of the video, you know, each office is independently owned and operated. So don't take like what happened to me to, to say that your office is gonna be like that. And, and I'll have you know, like most of the people that were there when I was there are no longer working there. And I heard that that office is doing phenomenal now. And so, you know, like it just goes to, to to show you like people can really make the difference. I you know I felt like it was important for for me to just open up to y'all and and really give y'all insights as to why I switched brokerages. So uh, if you if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down below. And I would appreciate a like if you enjoyed this video or if you're even still watching it just give me a like and please subscribe to my channel i have some great videos coming and so until next time i'm chasing j miles and i will talk to you soon